SpaceX's Starship is considered the world's largest and most powerful rocket ever that can make Musk's conquest of Mars a reality. However, that ambitious goal tends to require a lot of funding to invest in technology, skilled labor, and risk in terms of time. According to the latest news, SpaceX will have spent $5 billion or more on its Starship vehicle and launch infrastructure by the end of this year. Of course, that amount is not a peanut, especially within the context Starship is still in the development stage, not yet profitable, and the company continues to pay for its failure tests. To optimize that funding, SpaceX has to find ways to cut down on unnecessary costs on Starship or avoid stupid mistakes. One of those is using a unique system, namely Mechazilla, to save the Super Heavy booster as well as its 33 engines from the risk of exploding during a failed landing. Despite being risky if it works, SpaceX can get many benefits from this system. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. There's nothing more terrifying than a full landing burn of 33 Raptor engines ending in an explosion. Unlike the sky where there is almost no presence of other objects, Starship's launch site on the ground includes many different structures and even people. If a big bang of a vehicle that has the double thrust of NASA's SLS occurs on the ground, the loss of humans and assets is uncountable. For that reason, a new system called Mechazilla was born to replace the dangerous method of full landing burn. In December 2020, Elon casually announced a new plan to land the Super Heavy Booster on X. We're going to try to catch the Super Heavy Booster with the launch tower arm using the grid fins to take the load. After a period of construction, the tower is now fully operational for the first Starship catch in the future. It was named Mechazilla after the Mechagodzilla character in Godzilla, which is a 400-foot tall structure designed to act as both a launch and installation tower. The tower features three mobile arms, in 2021, SpaceX released a video showing exactly how that would work. According to it, when the booster returns to Earth, it will fall into a position near the launch tower, where there are two arms called chopsticks, already opened like a mother welcoming her returning child. When the vehicle approaches, both arms will narrow to catch it. The hard points on the booster will help the chopsticks hold it firmly. In addition to catching the vehicle, the Mechazilla is also used for installation purposes. We can see its works in the recent videos of stacking and de-stacking Starship rocket. The first arm swings out to brace super heavy for Starship installation and connect the upper stage to power, propellant supplies, and other launch pad utilities. The pair of chopsticks left are used to lift, stack, and demate Starships and super heavy boosters. Since it was unveiled, the idea has caused a lot of buzz among people since not only is it what it has not ever since before, but also promises to bring the company many benefits. First of all, capturing the Starship in midair using the arm-like capture mechanism of the Super Heavy launch tower has the potential to reduce the amount of damage the vehicle sustains upon landing because it helps the rocket avoid a violent hit on the ground. Imagine the case of traditional landing methods if the rocket fails to make a soft landing due to some minor error. In less severe cases, debris on the ground will be shot back into the rocket engines, causing damage to the internal structure. In more severe cases, it will destroy that rocket. With the catch method, Starship can completely prevent those risks. Second, Mechazilla helps the vehicle escape its dependence on landing legs, thereby avoiding increasing the total dry mass of the vehicle and reducing load carrying capacity, while also saving on the cost of creating legs. Take for example the case of Falcon 9 and Starship. As you know, each leg of Falcon 9 weighs about 4,500 pounds or 2,041 kilograms, but Falcon's mass is 549 tons. Starship is much larger with 5,000 tons, roughly 10 times that of Falcon 9. It means if SpaceX gifts Starship a pair of landing legs, each could feature 10 tons at least and 20 tons in total. The inherent physics of rocketry means adding 20 tons to Super Heavy's already 200-ton dry mass will reduce the rocket's payload capacity by up to 5 tons or 3%. This is a matter, especially within the context that Starship is designed with the original goal, which is to bring as much cargo as possible into space, serving to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. Last but not least, this method will support Starship's reusability feature. 
To build a permanent settlement on Mars and maintain a human presence throughout the years, Elon Musk estimates that a fleet of 1,000 starships will be needed to transport 100 megatons of crucial cargo to the Red Planet. To launch 1,000 starships in 10 years or 100 starships per year, the high production rate is crucial but not all. SpaceX also needs both pre-launch and post-launch ground support systems, which can adapt to Starship's high-flight cadence. And a modern system like Mechazilla is a great choice, helping the vehicle ready to refly in under an hour, as Elon said. It is a no-brainer to give credit for this exciting idea for the benefits mentioned above, but in spaceflight, any innovation comes with some challenges. The most notable matter is about the operational mechanism of the system. To catch and hold Super Heavy, the Mechazilla system's chopsticks must open and close flexibly and quickly with the booster's moving speed. Just one small mistake can cause terrible consequences. Imagine what if a 24-story building plummeted to the ground in mid-air and the arms in the seconds did not touch the hard points. Oh my god, an object weighing thousands of tons carrying 3,400 tons of propellant would aim straight at the launch pad and cause terrible destruction, capable of turning Starbase into dust. By contrast, the drone ship where Falcon 9 lands has a flat and empty surface. If a landing failure occurs, there will not be any building being damaged. Next. There is an equally important aspect, which is the issue of its complexity. Even the most minor of three massive Mechazilla arms, the Quick Disconnect arm is equipped with many parts. It includes an actuating tip and apparent stabilization claw to the already massive swinging structure, a bit of plumbing, wiring, and the Quick Disconnect umbilical panel. Two large, actuating arms at the bottom of the arm's tip must be able to grab Super Heavy stabilizing the massive booster during Starship installation. When they get damaged, recovering them will be more complicated than repairing or building the Falcon 9's landing legs. For that reason, SpaceX needs to make sure every detail on the launch tower and Starship is designed and operates perfectly. Although the idea of Mechazilla sounds crazy to many people since it has potential risks, it's important to remember that the same thing was once said about Starship, when Elon Musk shared his idea of a self-sustaining city on Mars, multi-planetary life as well as a super-powered rocket could make his dream come true. Many people laughed at him and thought that his rocket concept was more suitable for a science fiction movie than in real life. But now, Mars colonization has become the hot topic that caught the world's eye, and Starship is expected to be the United States' weapon in the space race. In the era of science and technology progressing day by day, new inventions play an important role in breaking the final frontier of human knowledge. So, for an ambitious individual like Elon Musk, why not try something new? Anyway, we're eager to see the system in action during Starship's next launch in mid-November and even beyond. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space-important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high-quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.